why you should play Monster Hunter if you like Splatoon. They're both good games. That's it, thanks for watching, and as always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter for more dog pics. <laughs> Splatoon and Monster Hunter may seem like completely different games, but like Ramen Noodles and Justin Timberlake's hair, they have a lot more in common than you'd think. In Monster Hunter, you play alone or team up in a group of four and fight some spooky looking enemies. Does that remind you of a certain mode from Splatoon to Salmon Run? Get the fish! You work on a team of four with cool weapons to battle it out against some spooky enemies. Granted, in Splatoon 2, you're fighting a bunch of little guys, and in Monster Hunter, you're fighting one or two big dudes. Speaking of weapons, both games feature weapons that are easy to pick up and play, but also have a lot of depth to them to those interested to seek it out. You like guns? Monster Hunter's got some guns, they're pretty cool. They got all sorts of exploded bullets. Are you excited about the bow in Splatoon 3 that shoots multiple directions at once? Monster Hunter's got some multi-shot bows, they shoot some explody arrows. You like slapping people with a big ol' oversized weapons like the roller and the brush? Monster Hunter's all about hitting big ol' monsters with big ol' weapons and looking good while doing it. Speaking of looking good, fashion. In both Splatoon and Monster Hunter, the games are all about look and fly. In Splatoon, you fight in battles to get cash money to buy new clothes. You got some cute outfits, cool outfits, silly outfits, there's a little something for everyone. The clothes also have passive abilities on them to enhance your performance during combat. So there's both the fashion element and the strategy element of what to wear. In Monster Hunter, you fight against monsters, collect their materials, and craft cool looking armor themed around the monsters you fight. You got some cute outfits, some cool outfits, and some silly outfits, you know there's a little something for everyone. And just like in Splatoon, armor pieces give you passive abilities that help you out during combat. So once again, fashion. Strategy. Fire Emblem. Wait, nope, wrong game. Splatoon and Monster Hunter showcase uniquely Japanese aesthetics, with Splatoon being modern Japan and many of Monster Hunter's areas being more based around feudal Japan. Coincidentally, both series are also more popular in Japan than in the West. Within these settings of both games, you'll meet incredibly memorable characters with tons of personality, plenty of snappy dialogue, and puns. Oh my god, so many puns. Also, cats! Both games have more cool cats than a, than a than a Lion King convention, I don't know. Both games have great music, wildly different genres, but the music is great in both games regardless. Both games have frequent free updates with new content. You know what's better than cake? Free cake! But Mr. Spaceman, I like Splatoon because it's a player versus player shooting game, but Monster Hunt is a player versus enemy cooperative game. So what you're saying is, you've got a competitive edge. Well, it's true there's no PvP mode in Monster Hunter, but there are arena quests, where you compete with players from around the world and try to slay a monster as fast as possible and get on that leaderboard. But mostly, with both games putting you on teams, these games are all about making friends. They have great online communities that are all about welcoming and supporting other players. Everyone's primary motivation to playing these games is having fun. The games are fun! There's thousands of hours worth of content in each one. They're my two most played games on the Switch. Both games are crazy addictive. You start playing, and then the next time you look at the clock, three hours have passed and your dog pooped on the carpet because you didn't take him out in time. So what I'm saying is, play Monster Hunter, play Splatoon, uh, play Fire Emblem. I don't know how to end this video. Uh... Thank you for watching my most niche video of all time. I really like both games and I recommend more people play both games. If you're even slightly interested in Monster Hunter at all, well I've got a whole video that goes way more in depth on what Monster Hunter is that you can check out right over here. Because it is in fact Monster Hunter March. And don't forget to subscribe for more Splatoon, more Monster Hunter, more videos on video games and uh, that's it, video's over.